where you were. Oh, you're back. She's been no trouble at all. You should have gone when Tim got home, my lady. I was enjoying myself. That's very kind, I'm sure. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> oh, well. I suppose I should be off. Unless you'd like me to stay whilst you settle Billy. That's generous, my lady, but there's no need. Good. Right. I'll be off then. Uh, can I look in tomorrow? Oh, you must be so busy. Why don't I come and then you can turn me out if you like? <laughs> Goodbye, darling. Bye. Bye. Honestly, Tim. She'll hear you her to get away. I can't manage it much longer. I'm sorry if she's lonely. I'm sorry she wants a child, but she can't have ours and that's flat. You're not being reasonable. <laughs> Just now I thought she'd taken her. I did truly. I wish we'd never started it. But think what she could do for the girl if she's a mind to her. In ten years or fifteen? We ought to live together in a nappy threesome until then. Is that what you want? Me? Oh, I thought she was soft on you, but maybe it's the other way around. You're the one who's soft. Soft in the head. Come and sit here and we can talk. I'm not going to eat you. But you are going to chew me up. Why not just tell me about the dear little farmer's daughter? What did Mary say? No more than that. You knew I'd bring her back. I feared it. And I still feel very sorry for poor Mrs Schroeder. I wrote to her. She told me she's adopted another baby. Then she has solved her problem. But the question remains, have you solved yours? Am I at least going to be allowed to see the girl? Do you want to? Of course. I gave up ten months of my life to make sure she came safely into the world. The trouble is, the farmer's wife, Mrs. Drew, she just thinks I'm a nuisance. She doesn't want me to see Marigold. So, we have a situation of infinite danger to your reputation, which brings you no emotional reward to compensate. 